Hey Scorpios, welcome to my channel. Thank you for coming through, clicking on the video. If you're here for the first time, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. All right, let's get into the messages and see what comes out, what you guys need to know, be aware about this time, or what you may need clarity of or confirmation of it, okay? This is going to be, what's the T? Okay, Scorpio, so we're going to see what's going on in and around your energy, um, things that you may or may not know, may not be aware of, okay? Let's see. Spirit, please give me clear your messages for Scorpio at this time. Happy birthday. Sorry, guys. Happy birthday to all the Scorpios out there. I hope you guys are having fantastic birthdays, okay? All right, so let's get into it, Spirit. What does Scorpio need to know to be aware of? Scorpio, Scorpio placement. Someone rising Venus. North node. Okay. For Scorpio, shuffling for Scorpio. Shuffling for Scorpio. What's going on in and around Scorpio's energy at this time? What messages do you have for Scorpio? Please. Thank you so much for your. Scorpios, I'm hearing, if at first you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again. You can dust it off and try again, try again. So if you, uh, that could be significant to somebody. That song may be significant to somebody. Somebody's name could be Aaliyah. Um, you may hear that song as confirmation of this message or that this, you know, that this message is for you. So just take that energy how it resonates, okay? Definitely for Scorpio. For Scorpio, I'm hearing mean spirited, mean spirited. What's going on in Scorpio's energy spirit? What's going on in Scorpio's energy? Ooh, all right, you got a thief. Okay, Leo Virgo could be significant, but it doesn't have to be. All right, that's just where we fell. So, thief, something about mm, all right, what else? Marrying for money. Somebody's a liar. Why? What else? What's going on with Scorpio's energy? You got somebody crying over you. Feeling hurt, sad, and upset here. And you got a gold digger. Oh my gosh. An older man. Okay. So there's something going on here with a gold digger. All right. You got somebody. Somebody's into you. And they feel sad and upset and hurt. They're crying over you, okay? But there's something going on with a thief and a gold digger and an older man, okay? So, uh, we saw Mary for money. So, well, I saw Mary for money. I don't know if I saw it. Showed it to y'all, but yeah. So, it, there's something about somebody here that got married for money. This person's a gold digger. So, this could either be an older man that's the gold digger. Or it could be, you know, somebody that's married to this older man. A woman. So, yeah. But somebody is um a thief here. Mm. And then you also have somebody over here. I'm hearing something about playing on your phone, too, that is hurt and sad and crying over you. And this person is very into you. You could be somebody that's in a spotlight or an influencer, or you could be very popular, like on social media, or you just may be really good looking, okay? I don't know, but yeah. Somebody wants you back. Whoever this person is is crying over you. They want you back. They got screenshots of your pictures. And I'm hearing they have screenshots of your person. So if you're dealing with someone, they got screen they take screenshots of you and or your person like together. Or uh, and it feels like they they may be like trying to okay yeah they wanted me to separate these energies because there's two different energies coming out here for you, so so you got a gold digging thief over here, <laughs> and you have um a what feels like a jealous ex is still into you that is a little obsessed with you and they want you back all right Scorpio so that's what I got here so. Let's go 
dive into this energy because that's already a lot. So let's see. What else? Is this the deck I want to use? Let's go into this gold digging energy first. Let's do that. they crazy i'm just gonna say that i'm sorry i'm just getting that energy they a little obsessive they obsessed they're crazy mm, i like it they're giving weird vibes all right tell me about this gold digging energy for for um scorpio what's going on over here tell me about this energy You got imprisonment. All right. So, again, with the man. So, there, this definitely could be a, something to do with a masculine energy. Either you're this masculine energy, okay, or um, this has something to do with the masculine energy or older man. You could be this older. You could be older than... You know, whoever this person is. Okay, you got somebody. Okay. So, hmm. Interesting. September 29th, September 28th could be significant. September 1st, January 9th, January 29th, January 28th. So, it looks like somebody was waiting on you. Or somebody was waiting on somebody to get out of jail. Or somebody expected someone to be waiting on them when they got out of jail. But there was some type of change here. I feel like, too, somebody could have gotten out sooner than they thought or or they were there longer than they thought. And they either expected someone to wait on them or somebody expected them to come home to them. OK. I hope you all follow and I hope that makes sense. And then you got thief again, child. I can't make it up. September 24th, January 9th January, uh, could be significant. I mean, January 24th, September 22nd, January 22nd. Somebody could be 28, 29, or 24, 22. Somebody could have a one-year-old, nine-year-old. Tell me more. Why's Gold Digger here? And Thief, what is that about? So adjudication, something to do with court. This could be a there could be a divorce or a breakup or something like that. Children, something about a child or child support. This could be somebody's baby mama or baby daddy. You got a child with this person. January 18th, January 30th, September 18th, September 30th. Okay, a new pathway. It's like somebody chose a different pathway. Somebody chose to go a different route here in this situation. Okay. Ooh, uh-uh. That's too many. That's too many. You got a false person. That's too many. Somebody chose to go a different route or down a different pathway or something. Somebody could be 35. All right. Somebody could be 31 or 39. Somebody in the, I am mean, like the family. Somebody in the community or like in the family could have um, bad health. What does this have to do with this thief and this gold digger though? I'm hearing something about like the community is falling apart or the family is falling apart because of something. Because of like money, finances. This could be an older person that, you know, this may have something to do with like some type of keep hearing entitlement, entitlement, entitlement. This may have and then thief. This may have something to do with um some type of inheritance or something. 
Like I said, somebody thought that they were going to receive something that they didn't receive or something like that. Tell me about this gold digger. Mm, love is in reverse. Courthouse and family room. Yeah. So I'm getting somebody's like, se see, I was going to say separated or no longer married. And there's marriage on the bottom. Older man, again, mature man, false person. See, this, this man feels like the gold digger. I feel like there was no love. There wasn't love. Or something is done. Something is over. Like I said, a divorce or something. There's an ending to something. And then there's like a um a meeting. Like, you know, like like when you do mediation or reading of the wheel or something like that. Oh that just reminds me of a reading that I did called the reading of the wheel. On my other channel. I think it was on the other channel. If I find it, I'm going to uh, share it to this channel. But yeah. So yeah. I, child. I don't know. That's what I got. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> See, I split it on family. This, this feels family oriented, all right? Somebody wants to apologize. They feel guilty. For what? For gold digging? For being a bully? Hmm. For being a bully. They could have left somebody homeless. Somebody, oh, somebody was going to keep all the money for themselves. 535, could be significant. Look up angel number 535. Somebody could have, mm. It's like somebody was going to, somebody wants to apologize for being mean, being a bully, for leaving someone out. Maybe someone left somebody out of the wheel or somebody left somebody like homeless or left somebody just left somebody out in some type of way and they could have been getting like advice and guidance and things from like uh other family members friends and things like that telling them that they were wrong you shouldn't be doing this and da 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 da, da. and so now this person feels guilty all right yeah it's stressing them out huh what does this have to do with scorpio What does this have to do with Scorpio? Somebody's trying to bribe somebody to do something. Maybe to you. Somebody could have tried to bribe, get somebody to do something to you. What were they trying to do for Scorpio? Gifting good news. What? What? They wanted to give you something. So I, okay. So I felt like somebody wanted to do something, give you something. But somebody stopped them. Because they wanted it all for themselves. Huh. They were selfish and they wanted it all to themselves. There's something about a marriage here. A proposal, somebody getting married, creating a family and all of those things. But then kind of suffering in silence or in the darkness. Hmm. But you got gift and good news coming here. What is this about? 
blessings. You got blessings coming to you, Scorpio. It's your fate. It's your destiny. I just saw childhood fate. It's your destiny. Somebody was not trying to hear this, though. But you got luck here. So, okay. So, it looks like you got something coming to you. Something that somebody's angry. Yeah. That they couldn't take something. Or they couldn't stop something. Alright. So, it looks like you have blessings and gifts and things coming to you. Something that was owed to you. Something that is well-deserved and owed to you. You better be getting it. Alright. Hold on, let me. Because it's like somebody was trying to change somebody's mind or they were holding something back from you but they feel guilty for it or something. I don't know, but you about to be prepared for some good news and some and some blessings, okay? Be prepared for some good news and some blessings. When can when can uh Scorpio expect this good news and these blessings spirit? Okay, it says within six months. Okay. Within six months. So within six months, between now and six months, okay? Maybe exactly six months, maybe three months, six months, two weeks, I don't know. But yeah. Give it at least six months. All right, I'm going to leave that there. <sighs> Real quick, let's talk about this <laughs> this person that's missing you and, and all of this, this stuff. All right. Um, let's see. What deck do I want to use for that? Let's use a bottom of the deck. I see toxic relationship, child. All right. So, like I said, somebody's crying over you. They're still very much into you. You are a great person. You have great vibes. Y'all have the chemistry. Or you have really, they really like the chemistry that you guys have together. Um, they want you back. All right. They, they're hoping to reconcile with you. They want you back. All right. You have soulmate. This person may be your soulmate. You may feel like they're your soulmate or they feel like they're your soulmate. All right. All right, so tell me about this person that's crying over Scorpio. And they may be, you may be hearing from this person. Tell me about this person that's crying over Scorpio and Scorpio. Tell me about this person. Okay. So this person is a liar. All right. <laughs> you got the mask card out here. They're very deceptive. Um, they're not, they, uh, or they're hiding something, okay? This talks about, um, yeah, it says lying. So it talks about concealing, disguising something here, okay? What are they hiding? They could have been hiding the fact that they were dealing with multiple people here. Um, a lot of options. Somebody got some legal, legal stuff going on here. I feel like you're no longer stressing about this situation or this person or whatever this is. Okay? You're no longer stressing about this situation or this person or whatever this is. You could be in a relationship or there's there's some truth that's going to come out. Somebody wants to say something, reveal something to you. They secretly still care about you and stuff. But I feel like this was just toxic player energy. Yeah. Um, you could be healing. You, I feel like you're you're not stressing over the situation, healing from this situation. All right, this is somebody that could have lied to you, manipulated you. Somebody could have got you caught up in like some some legal stuff too. All right, you may have some legal things going on with this energy, or they may have their own legal things going on. Or this could be somebody that you are. Um, like separating from or divorcing from or something like that. All right. Tell me about this energy. It's missing Scorpio. Tell me about this energy missing Scorpio. Okay. So you could be this very loving person. Okay. This very loving man. 
because some of y'all don't get caught up with somebody and end up getting them pregnant. Okay, they agree. Because it's like I said, this person got a lot of people. Look at that. Swingers, side chick drama. Yeah, don't get caught up with somebody and get them pregnant. All right, do not do it. And pay attention to see. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Somebody here, you could have like a family at home. You may get somebody that's trying to, you know, tempt you or something like that. I'm um, trying to come back in your life. I'm getting like, it says use protection, but I'm getting like use precautions. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't like it. Tell me more about this energy. Just missing Scorpio. I want them back. Tell me about this energy. Ooh, See, look. Toxic relationship again. This could be somebody's baby mama, baby daddy, child, living boyfriend in reverse. You, you could, yeah, you could, uh, maybe you used to live with this person, but this was a very toxic situation, toxic connection, okay? This this is somebody that kind of knows what type of person you are, whether you a man or a woman, okay? Um, take it how it resonates. These are just energies, but this says loving man. So you could be somebody that's very family oriented, very loving person, very giving person, nurturing and things like that when you're in a connection, in a relationship, and this person knows that. And they just don't want you giving up to somebody else, I guess. But then talk to us if you're no longer dealing with this person. All right. Somebody wears gold jewelry. Somebody has their ears pierced like a dude. Okay. Um, somebody could like like to drink. Maybe you drank with this person. Maybe this person drank a lot. And that's why the relationship was so toxic. Because maybe you deal you were dealing with somebody that couldn't handle their liquor. All right. Somebody um could cook a lot, be a really good cook here, okay. Um, yeah, but you're no longer, you know, this, 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 uh, live-in boyfriend situation was in the reverse. So you're no longer living with this person. I feel like you're making yourself number one, number one priority right now. You're all about peace. You don't want to be about anything stressful and you don't want anything like coming into your life, disturbing your peace. Um, somebody is gossiping about you to someone. Somebody could be a hairstylist or um, something like that. Or somebody is telling this person what you have going on. So it, this person may not be the one that is, um, you know, like on your page, really. Maybe they... They got somebody else that's just like looking to see what's going on with you, okay? Single mother could be significant. Something about support, child support, okay? Aquarius energy. Yeah. So it feels like somebody, too, that likes to party, likes to turn up, likes to drink a lot. Maybe this person, look, they're toxic. They may pop pills, turn up, drink, all this type of stuff. They, it's a lot. Just use your intuition, okay? It says keeping one eye open, your third eye, preferably use your intuition when it comes to this person. They get around. Swingers, they just codependent on your energy. That's all. Like I said, I feel like they know what type of person you are. And the fact that you may, whether you are or not, this is how they feel. The fact that you may be giving that type of time, attention, love, and support, and things like that to somebody else. They don't like it. And they feel entitled, again, there's that freaking word, to your energy. All right? Especially if you have a child with this person. Like, if you have kids with this person, they definitely feel entitled. All right? So, anyways, that's what that's about. I'm going to leave it here. I hope it helped. And I will see you guys in another reading, all right? Any information you need will be in the description box below. I do have a few sales going on. That information is in the comment section, okay? Bye.